Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you how to play Bunko on Zoom. So here we have six participants and I have this toolbar at the bottom. I am the host. You have to be the host to be able to do this. So I'm gonna go here, down here to breakout rooms. It's four squares. I click on that. I've already assigned, named these tables. So I have winner's table, table two, and loser's table. So winner's table, I can rename. I just click on this right here and I can rename that. And then I can assign people to different breakout rooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and it looks like everybody's already assigned to rooms from earlier. So I'm gonna change my options to no countdown when we leave the breakout rooms. So you could say in 60 seconds, we're gonna finish our breakout room. But right now I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to um, close all the breakout rooms when I'm ready to close. So everybody needs to join their breakout rooms. Click join. All right, we're waiting for the dogs to join. All right, so now everybody's joined a breakout room. You can see we have two people in this room, two people in this room, and one in this room. So what I can do is I can move these people between tables. Because I'm the host, I'm not currently in a room. So let's move this one to the winner's table. So now we have three people in this winner's table. So that's the table I need to go to so we can make four. So I click join. Yes, I wanna join the winner's table. And so now this brings me to the winner's table. Now we just roll our dice, somebody keeps score, we pick our teams, um, we're good to go. So now they can text me or, you know, the chat doesn't work when you're in a breakout room. So we need to find a way to communicate to say who won. So they've let me know that Anne and Michelle won. Or, and so I need to move the other two. If you know how to play Bunko, this makes sense. So I am going to move these two to the loser's table. So now you can see how easy that was. I just hovered over, it says move to, I moved them to that correct table. So now we have people in different rooms and I can move between these rooms and check on people. So I'm gonna join this room here. And so now I'm in this breakout room. I can come back and I can check. Nobody can hear what's going on in the other breakout rooms. So when you are in a breakout room with your group of people, you cannot hear what the other groups are saying. That's why I say maybe a text to the host or whoever to know who to move. And then you just kind of move them between rooms. When you're done, you come back down here to breakout rooms. I'm gonna close all rooms. And now we're back on the main screen with everyone. 